Hey guys, uh, I got the swarm traps up and uh, I'll make a video to show you guys how to make swarm traps. I think everybody should have bees. Uh, as you can see, this, this trap here is pretty busy, pretty active. And uh, if you, I mean, they're not moved in there. If, if they had moved in there, then that, that whole entire, the entirety of the, high, of the trap would be just, it'd be like there'd just be a huge beard of, beer, of bees on it. Uh, if they had moved in and swarmed in there yet, but they have been I mean, there's a lot of activity, but there's they, they clearly aren't moved into here yet and uh, You can take and look at the bees themselves and see if they're bringing pollen in and out In order to tell that they are moved in. I mean if they're moved in they're gonna they're definitely gonna have pollen in their pollen sacks on their on their on their hind legs there So that's this one It is pretty busy pretty active uh, but definitely not a swarm I just want to kind of show you guys how it how it works uh, when you get a, a trap put in the tree and we'll go and we'll look at the other one which is over there you can probably see it down there by that table by that building in that tree but we'll go ahead and take a look at that one too but anyways guys this is this is how it how they come in and they investigate it and check it out and do all their thing with it before they actually uh, swarm into them. So let's go look at the other one and see if it has any activity. Alright, this one don't seem to have as much activity just walking up on it, but you never know what's inside that actual trap at this point. There could be a bunch, there could be just a few. But uh, I know a lot of people say that you got to mount these things 15, 20 foot off the ground, 30 foot off the ground, whatever, 10 foot off the ground, 8 foot. But this is about five foot, six foot off the ground. That's it, and uh, that's that's plenty. The main thing is just make sure you put your trap where uh, bees bees are traveling. I mean, they have flight paths, and they use markers, large objects like like that tree right there, which is a very large object. And, and in this case, there's two trees, and so when they're flying, a lot of times they fly straight between them two trees as a marker. And so when they fly through, they pick up the scent of the lemongrass oil and move on in there. We got Blaze out and about today. He's just kind of hanging out, chilling, doing his thing. But anyways, uh, back to this hive here. It is actually more busy than it looked as we come in here. And we'll see that there's no pollen on the bees in any way. So they definitely haven't moved into this one either, but they are they are flying in it and checking it out and doing their thing. I'll just kind of back out and get a view where you can see them flying around and doing their thing. So that's the swarm traps, guys. I mean, there's two of them, and uh, I'll be making more, so I'll make a video of how I make these. Uh, I just ratchet strap it to the tree and ratchet strap it to the... Uh, the hive itself gets wrapped, ratchet strapped, and I do have those uh, hanger things on them, but I probably won't be using them hanger things. I figured out that using these ratchet straps is a whole lot uh, better. Uh, to me, it is anyway. Uh, I mean, you don't need that. This ratchet strap here on the side holds the top to bottom together, and I have these little latches and stuff on it, but I'm not going to be putting latches on them anymore. It's not needed, especially if you have that. Uh, that strap on it and then you got this strap that just simply goes all the way around the tree to hold it to the tree and I put some shims there to keep the hive level so as they build their comb out uh, you know it'll be good and level and they won't be building comb across frames and making it impossible to get in there so there's a little closer view of the bees in the hive itself doing their thing and again, you don't you don't see them bringing in pollen or anything, so they definitely aren't living in there at this point. They're just scoping it out, checking it out, do it, doing what they do. All right, guys, get in the word, stay in the word. I love you guys. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out. Peace to everybody. Peace to the world.